right for all Americans in this bicentennial year of the Constitution to join together in a bipartisan effort to fulfill our constitutional obligation of restoring the United States Supreme Court to full strength. It would be unfair to the parties with cases before the Supreme Court and unfair to the remaining members of the court to be left without nine full-time justices. Each of us owes a sacred debt to our ancestors, establish the rule of law in this republic, and to the citizens of the future to whom we entrust our nation's destiny. In a special way, this duty now falls upon the United States Senate as it nears a crossroad, a crossroad of conscience. In taking up this nomination, I hope we can all resolve not to permit a repetition of the campaign of pressure politics that has so recently chilled the judicial selection process. Let us insist that the Senate not give in to noisy, strident pressures. It's time for the Senate to show that it will join with me in defending the integrity and independence of the American system of justice. And a good way to begin would be by holding hearings promptly. A president, whether Republican or Democrat, liberal or conservative, seeks out the best qualified person who generally shares the president's judicial philosophy. The Senate then decides whether the nominee meets the qualifications to serve. This way, over the years, the Supreme Court becomes composed of the best minds reflecting varied but accepted judicial philosophies. Now is not the time to change the standard, to break that tradition. And I know you join me in calling for statesmanship, not partisanship. I look forward to prompt hearings conducted in the spirit of cooperation and bipartisanship. Thank you.